the world is incredibly complex, really exciting, but you know what? It's far too multidimensional to be able to manage these kind of risks all on our own. And I suggest to you that the greatest risk inside any bank, actually, is this institutional blindness. If you find such a system extremely annoying. Hands up, if you think it should be a social crime to put up such a system, <laughs> and the people who put them in should be put in prison. <laughs> institutional blindness. It's when too many chip manufacturers have been talking to too many other chip manufacturers for too many years, and they all end up in the same city, or the same blood plane. It's when too many subprime bankers are underwriting the same kind of products with too many other subprime bankers. 70% of their entire manufacturing capability in the same flood plane of the same country, namely Thailand, where it quickly got disrupted. I mean, what kind of risk is that? It's, it's interesting that, you see, many of the debates about the future are not necessarily about exactly what will happen, it's to what degree. We have to do it together in partnership, which is why the conversations around this event have been so fascinating, as people have shared their experiences about how they're looking to build a better and more secure future for their bank. An event as simple as this. This was a 20-second event in Japan, an earthquake. 20 seconds later, there was a second event a crack in a nuclear reactor. As a result of that... <laughs> but what were you doing? Even Bill Gates knows he cannot reprogram the IT system of the lift by pressing buttons. Oh, there's a cash stuff sitting there. In fact, there's so much cash sitting there, they keep giving it back to shareholders. What a crazy thing to do. But the whole point of being listed was to get money from shareholders. So what happens if you have on your risk register over 400 significant risks? Which I'm sure you do. If you haven't, you probably haven't looked hard enough. <laughs> right. And what happens if every single one of those 400 risks has a, a 1 in 100 chance of going off in every year? In other words, extremely <laughs> unlikely. Well, you know the truth. If you've got 400 risks at a 1 in 100 chance, every board meeting will be dominated, not just by one wild card, but probably by two or three that happen to go off in the same three-week period. It's a, it's a need for oxygen, a need for a broader view. Life expectancy by five years as a result of this kind of thing. Put up your hands. Five years, okay. Actually, put up your hands if you think it could be more, could be ten. I think you're probably right. You know, medical knowledge is done. The hardest banks in the world saw this slide, she immediately resigned. Within two weeks, she'd gone. She said to me afterwards, I realised that I didn't believe in what I was saying. But I'm going to offer you a free iPad or whatever kind of mobile device you like. I will give you a free iPhone or a, um, a Samsung device. In fact, I'll give you two. So you can have one for your partner. I'll give you one for your children as well. I'll give you three mobile phones, two iPads. I will change all the technology for free every 18 months. For free, I will also give you free ball brand, unlimited video calls anywhere in Europe. No worries. I will also. If you have satellite or broadband uh, TV stations at home, don't worry. I will give you the biggest video package you can ever imagine. And you can watch as many videos as you like at home or anywhere else. I, I, you what, I will also give you an old-fashioned, you know, I know some people still use traditional computers, so I will give you a, a mobile computer. And you say, what's the catch? And I say, well... This is the catch. I want you to empty your wallet, please, sir. I want you to empty your wallet and select one piece of plastic only. This is your emergency plastic. You can spend 500 euros on it every month only. All the rest is mine, okay? Every transaction goes on here. By the way, we've already assessed you as a high net worth individual. We have already given you 100,000 euros of free credit, up to free credit on any transaction, and the free insurance is already built into the price. Okay, I'm signing. Now, yes, the room went quiet. It goes very quiet in telcos and in banks when we talk about this example. You see, many debates about the future are not about what is going to happen, it's simply about the date. So I'm going to ask you about the date because you can see it's going to happen. So, by what date do you think? Data, they don't cooperate and they, don't, and they fail to see the overall picture of the problem can sometimes result in uh, little groups of people who are working against the interests of the entire bank. For some who think that the lawsuits could eventually become as large and as complicated 
as the lawsuits that have been running against tobacco companies for the last decade. Incredibly complicated lawsuits, very expensive, that were utterly dwarfed any fines that could possibly have been imposed by any regulator. Here's a question. This is caused by the merger of two banks, which means that you cannot innovate or sort out any other problems for between five, six, or seven years because of the challenges of just merging the banking systems. 